Hello everyone and welcome to Black Star Potential. My name is Lee Fuge and I'm here today with musicteacher.com and in this video we're going to learn the guitar riff for the new John Mayer track, Last Train Home. All the tones you're hearing in this video today are coming from the Black Star Studio 10 6R6 which is mic'd with the Lewitt Audio LCT 440 condenser mic. The amp is running on the clean channel and I'm also using the Shergold Masquerader which I've got set to the position 4 on the 5-way switch which is the neck and middle single coils together. You can also get this same tone on a Strat Star guitar. The real trick with the John Mayer tone is the neck and middle pickups on together at the same time. This is a really fun, really simple triad based guitar riff. So the riff is going to take place entirely on the D, G and B strings. A triad, if you don't know, is a three note chord, which is usually major or minor, but in this case, they're actually all going to be major triads. There's going to be a couple of different shapes we're going to use, but they are all going to be major chords. So here's the riff in full and then we'll break it down. So there are a couple of different ways to play this riff and John Mayer would often use his thumb to play root notes on the low E string as well, but we're going to focus this entirely as a triad riff for this lesson. So the first triad we're playing is up here at the 11th, 9th and 10th frets. So the best way to play this is to actually bar the 9 on the D, G and B, use your third finger for the 11 on the D and your middle finger for the 10 on the B. This is an A major triad. So you're going to hit those three strings and then go to just the bar, which is an E major triad. So this happens twice. Then you come to this B major triad. So this is the 7 on the B, the 8 on the G, the 9 on the D. Then back to that E major triad, which is the 9 on the D, G, and B. So from the B major, the best way to do this is just to drop the third finger as a bar. So we've got A to E. And again, B to E. Then we come to an A major triad, so that B major shape we played there, just shift it down two frets. So it's a different A major to this one. So this is 5 on the B. 6 on the G, 7 on the D. So once you've gotten down to that A major triad, we're then going to this E major triad, which is actually the same shape as the first A we played here, but we're down here now, so it's 6 on the D, 4 on the G, 5 on the B. So there's two hits on that, and then it goes back to the A major. So that's the first half of the riff, so let's play through that slowly. So we've got a to E, B to E, A, and then E to A, Now the great thing with this riff is the second half is actually exactly the same, but there's a slight different ending. So that second ending, instead of going to that E triad again, and back to the A, I actually go to this B major triad here, which is the fourth across the D, G, and B. I'm playing that twice and then coming down to this A major triad here on the second on the D, G, and B. So the entirety of that second half of the riff is exactly the same. So we've got A to E, B to E, A, and then B to A. So now let's play through the entire riff, both sections, slowly. So you've got plenty of time for most of those chord changes. The only one that's really quick is that B major to the E triad, which jumps down to the A. 
there's like a little fleck there where you just sort of hint at that E major triad. But take your time with that change and you'll get it in no time. So here's the riff, start to finish at full speed. There you go, there is the main riff from the brand new John Mayer track, Last Train Home. Let me know down below in the comments how you guys have gotten on with that riff, and also let us know if there are any other riffs and licks you guys want to learn in these videos. Thank you all so much for watching, I hope you've enjoyed this lesson. Don't forget to check out Black Star Amplification on YouTube for more free videos just like this. And if you're looking for a guitar teacher, please check out musicteacher.com. There's a network of great teachers all around the country waiting to help you guys out. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you soon.